Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of Bighorn Woodworks. My name is Paul and today I'll be working on this segmented vessel. I've got Purple Heart, Spanish Cedar, and Tiger Wood. I've also got this beautiful accent ring of Purple Heart and Spanish Cedar. I hope you enjoy this video as much as I enjoyed making this vessel. A little word of advice, if you've never worked with Tiger Wood before, it tends to be a little caustic. Make sure you put on a dust mask to avoid choking and of course always wear your visor. To get this vessel ready for turning, I first mill up a piece of the Spanish cedar. The board I have is about 3 feet long, 6 inches wide, and measures 8 quarter thick. It's a softer wood and cuts very easily. Each strip is roughly 3 quarters of an inch, and in between passes I would true up the cut face on the jointer. It was pretty cold that day, so I apologize for not moving the camera over to the jointer, but I just wanted to get in and out of my outdoor shop as quickly as possible. Cutting the strips of Purple Heart came next. I then used a segment calculator app on my phone and determined I could safely take the cedar pieces and cut them down the middle to maximize my use of material. The app makes it easy. Using an inner and outer radius along with the number of segments you want to use, it will tell you how long, wide, and what angle you should use when making your cuts. I've set up a sled for my table saw with a number of built-in guides and clamps to hold my work steady. As I was editing this video, I realized my safety habits need to change a little bit. Your hands should never be this close to a moving saw blade. In all, I made 145 different pieces for this vessel. It's a time-consuming process and care should be taken to ensure the angles are as close to perfect as possible. I know there are a few products out there for setting up perfect angles, but for now, I'm using an adjustable speed square I found at the local hardware store. The difficult part of this operation is making sure you have the correct angle. You can miss a little on the length and the width part, but missing the angle makes things more difficult. For this reason, I always use a number of segments that allows me to assemble them in two halves. I can sand them parallel to each other for a seamless fit if I don't get the angle perfect. Assembling the first ring, you can see how I missed my angle. A couple of short dowel rods provides enough separation between the pieces and creates a pivot point that compensates for an imperfect cut. Assembling the rings is a major undertaking. I apply glue to each angled side and secure them in place with a piece of painter's tape. Holding the whole ring together with a few large rubber bands creates enough clamping pressure to the circumference so they are held tightly in place. The tape is really only there to prevent them from walking laterally to each other. I also like to use newspaper or discarded magazine pages to do my glue work. This way, squeeze out on the bottom edge doesn't cause my ring to stick to my work surface. Another helpful hint here is to have a damp washcloth or dish rag to wipe your fingers on. The easiest way to ensure complete coverage for me is to use a finger and spread it out to the edges as evenly as possible. Depending on the number of rings and segments you have, this process can take a very long time. When the wife isn't around, I set up a temporary work table in the living room and watch my favorite YouTube makers while putting everything together. Another benefit to using newsprint for assembling your rings, you can move them by sliding the paper with the ring on top out of the way. To give you an idea of how much work went into this project, what you've seen in this 5 minute video has been edited down from over 10 hours of footage, and before I began speeding up all the clips, the video was actually over an hour and a half long. Thank you for watching. In the next video, I'll assemble all the rings, turn it, sand it, and finish it into this beautiful vessel. If you liked what you saw and want to see more, don't forget to hit like and subscribe right here.